Elizabeth Curry here again. When asked the question, what personal sacrifices have I had to make because of coronavirus due to my job in the industry that I'm in? So being in the education industry, I guess you could say, um, personally, the sacrifices I've had to make are very minimal just because I'm not a teacher in my job that I do. I simply just look after the kids and their after school program and implement activities and just do homework with them and stuff. So personally, the really only big sacrifice I've had to make is being out of work, which has been hard and just the fact that I don't feel as stable in just everything that I'm doing in life, not feeling like I have a secure job. Um, moving forward, the uncertainty of when I'll be able to go back to work and be making a more steady income. Um, and just being away from my kids has been uh, difficult just in kind of having to find things that bring me joy outside of my job because it was um, such a sole factor in where I found a lot of my happiness just within the kids and within feeling like I was making a difference in their lives. So I think that's been something personally affecting me, but in the realms of my job and my industry, luckily I haven't had to make um, huge sacrifices for myself just because um, my job is directly affected by the things that are implemented for the education system. Um, but it, I'm more on the outside instead of like a submerged on the real inside. Hi, my name is Brenda Lacewell. I'm the nurse director on the transplant care unit at Methodist Specialty and Transplant Hospital. I was asked to talk about personal sacrifice throughout the COVID pandemic. Um, some of the sacrifices I've had to make are on time. I have two boys uh, in fourth and sixth grade and uh, I'm having to give up a lot of time where I'd be homeschooling them to take care of the hospital unit, um, relying on doing it nights and weekends, which is difficult because I don't have a lot of free time, but the investment in my kids' education is important, so I'm willing to, to give up that to make sure they continue learning uh, in the right way. Um, as far as time on the unit, um, our patients aren't seeing visitors right now, so it's really important to um, intentionally connect with our patients more than once a day, more than once a shift. So I, as the leader, do see patients every day. I see every patient on the unit that we have to make sure that there's a plan to get their uh, loved ones the information uh, about what's going on in the hospital regarding labs, tests, procedures, surgeries, discharge, whatever those things look like. So not things that I'm unwilling to do as a nurse. I know that servant leadership is part of being a nurse and helping people when they're vulnerable is definitely uh, part of healthcare, especially during this pandemic. So these are just a couple things that I've had to endure or kind of deal with since COVID happened, but we are seeing um, elective surgeries starting to pick up and starting to have some normalcy uh, return to our environment in the hospital. So definitely super happy that I'm a nurse and able to fulfill those needs for our patients and um, glad to talk to you guys. Thanks.